Daddy are deciding where we should go on the next family trip. I'm thinking going somewhere beachy, sunshine, sand. How about Bermuda? Yeah, you know, haven't you heard of the Bermuda Triangle? Oh yeah, isn't that a part of the ocean where all the boats and planes go missing? It's just a myth, Ryan. No, it's real. I can prove it by calling in an ocean expert. Gil! Gil! Oh, hey, Ryan, dude. Hey, Sean. Gil, we need you to do some research into the Bermuda Triangle. <laughs> okay, man, if you say so. Welcome to Ryan's world. Laurel. Oh, hey, Gil. What are you doing? I'm going on an Atlantic cruise. No, you can't. Ryan just told me all about the Bermuda Triangle. It's this part of the Atlantic Ocean that stretches from Florida to the Greater Antilles to Bermuda. Over 20 planes and 50 ships have disappeared there, some without leaving a trace. I don't know, Gil. That sounds like some kind of urban legend. No way! It's for real! You can't go across the Atlantic. You'll disappear for sure! Gil, I am not afraid of a triangle. I'm going on my trip. Man, we gotta replace these light bulbs. I don't know what Gil was so worried about. I'm not nervous at all. Oh ho! Ah! <gasps> Yarg! Ye wouldn't be getting nervous about the fact that we be approaching the Bermuda Triangle, are ye? <laughs> Me? Nervous? Not about some silly urban legend. No way. <gasps> oh, what was that? I, I reckon that be the methane. <gasps> methane? What do you mean? Methane be a gas that builds up under the ocean floor. When the pressure gets too high, it can burst, causing huge air bubbles to rocket to the surface. Are those bubbles strong enough to sink a ship? Aye, certainly. And the gas is flammable. So if it were to enter a passing plane's engine, kaboom! Hmm. Interesting. Hey, is it just me or did it get darker in here? I, I reckon that'd be a rogue wave. Rogue wave? What is that? Around here, storms can move from all directions. This causes white squalls, storms that appear with almost no warning. So these storms can cause giant waves? Aye, we call them rogue waves. Some can reach up to 100 feet tall. So, wait, between gas bubbles, sudden storms, and huge waves, you're telling me there's a lot of reasons for ships and planes to disappear around here? And they're not supernatural at all. Aye, and now that I think about it, there'd be no reason why these waters are more dangerous than any other part of the ocean. Hmm. If you'd excuse me, I need to make a call. Yarg! I better get back to steering the ship anyway. Laurel? Are you okay? You didn't get disappeared, did you? Gil, I think I figured out the mystery. There are tons of normal ocean reasons for planes and ships to disappear around here. So it's not ghosts or aliens. I better call Ryan with the update. Sounds good. I'm gonna head inside before I get blasted by another wave. Bye! Oh, Gil, did you figure out the mystery about the Bermuda Triangle? Aw, uh, yeah. This myth is totally smashed. Turns out there are lots of reasons ships and boats might disappear in the Atlantic and none of them have to do with flying saucers or time warps or anything. The disappearances could be caused by methane bursting from the ocean floor, white squalls coming out of nowhere, or even giant rogue waves. 
Huh, okay, I guess that makes sense. Did Laurel make it to her location safe? Of course! In fact, hundreds of boats and planes pass through the Bermuda Triangular every year, and they're totally fine. Okay, Daddy, after hearing that, do you still want to go to the Bermuda? <laughs> Daddy? Daddy disappeared! Man, what are you waiting for? It's feast time!